I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News, and here's a look at commodities for Wednesday, June 23rd. Oil is on the decline in early morning trade as investors await the outcome of the latest FOMC meeting in the afternoon, as well as the release of the latest weekly crude inventories data by the U.S. Department of Energy. The American Petroleum Institute reported Tuesday that stockpiles rose by 3.69 million barrels, and the DOE is seen by analysts to report a similar increase. Gold, on the other hand, is rising as the yellow metals allure increases amid a fall in global equity prices. The euro's gain against the greenback also pushed up demand for precious metals as alternative assets. As of early morning, Brent crude is down by a tenth of a percent at $77.95 a barrel, while late sweet crude down by two tenths of a percent, $77.66 a barrel, and natural gas up by two tenths of a percent at $4.00. 76 cents a million British thermal units. Gold is up four tenths of a percent, $1,246 even per ounce, while silver is up two tenths of a percent, $18.94 an ounce, and copper is down by a third of a percent, $2.98 a pound. The International Energy Agency reported that global energy demand will fall over the next five years as Chinese consumption slows down. The Paris based agency projects demand to shrink each year to average 1% in 2015, or 940,000 barrels a day, compared to 1.62 million barrels a day, or 1.9% in 2010. Total consumption is forecast to reach 91.93 million barrels a day in five years' time, compared to 86.39 million in 2010. Petro Brazil has delayed a $25 billion stock offering until September, even though it has been planned for July. Better known as Petrobras, the Brazilian group said it has decided to postpone the stock sale as a price has not yet been set to buy oil reserves from the government. The initial plan was to buy rights as to as much as 5 billion barrels of oil from the government with stock, but industry regulators will be assessing the value of the reserves by the end of August. In the metals market, Royal Gold priced its public offering of 5.2 million shares at $48.50 per share. The Denver-based company shares closed at a price of $51.28 on Tuesday. The $240.3 million projected to be raised through the sale will be used to pay down debt, fund acquisitions, and for other purposes. As for Anglo-American, it anticipates copper output in Chile to be slightly below levels reached in 2009, according to Reuters. The company had produced 669,800 tons of copper in 2009, with most of it mined in Chile. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more on these headlines, visit our website, tradethetrend.com. You can also receive this commodities report every morning from us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Trade the Trend.